welcome in. It's great to have you all here. Um, we are, that works for you, great, yeah. Uh, hey Drifter, yeah, more great tech. I know um, I was over on Zyra's stream earlier before I started mine, but uh, yeah, we are, we are, we just made, well, a couple of things. We uh, made the, the basic assembling machine and uh, just came back from actually going to the Twilight Forest uh, right before the break. So uh, also been working through some loot bag supplied foods. I think I've actually eaten all of these now once. Yeah, okay, so we'll work our way through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, we got some things from the Twilight Forest and I don't know where I'm gonna put them. Uh, I guess I'll dump it all in here for now until I figure out where I'm going to organize all of the random objects. Twilight Force is a fantastic place for this pack. No blood moons. That is an excellent point. Um, yeah, I noticed like it was supposed to be nighttime according to the clock, but it's a day uh, as well. Something worth considering in the future. Maybe, uh, I don't know. I feel like... Like, is it, is it, can you beat all the bosses in the Twilight Forest in LV? Is that, is that feasible? I don't even know. I don't know that you really even strictly need to do that to like live in the Twilight Forest. But uh, anyway, what do I know? All right, so we got some random stuff here. It's possible, okay. Uh, TF is always barely, well, I mean, it's the name, right? It's a twilight forest. Yes, possible, probably a challenge. Okay. Well, hey, uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Right now, I'm just uh, getting some stuff st sorted out from the trip. I didn't really do any mining. I did set, find some aluminum gravel, like, uh, as I was walking around. But the main thing was just kind of scouting around and to actually just do it. Um... Is it possible in this pack to switch between dimensions in the map? Uh, I'm gonna say no. Uh, I'd say if you have an EPF and can, can make cobalt easily, the most you need is the, the crossbow. Uh, I do not have the EBF yet. That is in the future. I do, however, have, uh, well, let's see, aluminum. I have 23 cobalt dust. Uh, and I got like over a stack of nickel. It's uh, is it my first time playing the pack? Yes, it is. I technically speaking did like a year or more ago play for like a couple of nights <laughs> with the friends. So so basically, yeah, this is my first time playing. I have seen like uh, three folds playthrough on some other streamers, uh, but that is hardly the same thing as like trying to figure out what you're doing yourself. Uh, I'm like exactly the same point progression right now. All right, cool. Is it is that progression in your first time playing or have you played before, Drifter? Should be able to put the cobalt dust in a smelter and get it and get there. Okay. Um, yeah, that that sounds believable. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, not the Tinker smelter then. We can make cobalt brass, assembler. I don't have a normal blast furnace yet. Scanner, packager, nope. Uh, I'm a bit ahead of you, 20% into envy maybe, also first time myself, nice. I've gotten to early, um, is that an L, LV before? But this run, is, I just got to the EBF, so this is brand new to me. All right, well. Uh, Pretty sure that works at least in 2.30. I didn't see it like hitting you on the cobalt, so I don't know, but uh, I could try. It's kind of harmless to try it, right? Let me uh, finish getting stuff put away. And uh, the other thing that I did today was really cool is I got this thing going. So this was another rack, another rack lumber axe until earlier in the stream. Uh, I got it unbreakable and put a steel head on it I don't feel actually that the steel made it much, I mean, it sh should have made it faster. It didn't just, it just doesn't feel very, m very much faster than the Netherrack one did, but it is at least unbreakable. So there's that. 
All right, we need to put the rest of this stuff away. So here's all the ores. Well, no, no, this is not all the ores. This is all the random ores. And then I also have some other ores that I've been collecting that I have not processed yet, which in the grand scheme of things is not probably that much, but it's, uh, it's what I've been doing <laughs> off stream, going in mining veins. Uh, let's see, cobble and ashes. So, uh, yeah, I, uh, I play this pack every day, but I actually stream this pack on, uh, on Mondays. Uh, and I have been, basically, Mondays for me are for modded Minecraft. It's modded Minecraft Monday, uh, streaming uh, this for like the last two months or however long it's been. Before that, it was uh, Create Astral, which we uh, I completed. Uh, what was that? Sometime beginning of December, I think it was. And uh, that was good. Hey, a couple of catches there. Nice. Let's eat this. Drink this. Whatever. We also got the backpack. Put stuff away again. Uh, block, this blocks of charcoal don't need, no, don't need to be in there. And I don't think we have any uh, iron tools anymore. They're all steel or they're still bronze. So I'm gonna take the iron. Yeah, the backpack is nice. It did take me a while to realize that um, you need to hold shift and press the backpack key to bring up this UI. I've not done anything with uh, the automatic pickup yet. Oh, it's night, it's sleep. Okay, so storage room, little furnace set up. We have our machinery here in a very <laughs> kind of throw stuff together kind of way. We have a single basic steam turbine powering whatever we're trying to use at a given time. So we have a, a wire mill, uh, a bending machine, a uh, centrifuge, and a basic assembling machine. So that's where I'm at <laughs> in, uh, in terms of all of this. And then we have a, uh, a uh, iron tank full of uh, 1.6 million millibuckets, 16, a hundred, wait, 1,600 buckets. Is that how that works out? Yeah. We got a liquid fuel boiler firebox with uh, a uh, two by two by two uh, low pressure boiler tank. Running off a of creosote. Have a uh, drawer for the charcoal. And uh, we got the, uh, the water tank over here. We got the uh, uh, bricks blast furnace over here. Working on making more steel. Did we process yeah, all that? Cool. So, and then there's still a couple of, uh, oh yeah, so here's the uh, Coke ovens producing Crusoe. Uh, John B says, oh, looks like the Cobalt Ardite dusts are unmeltable in the smeltery. So Cobalt pick would require the EBF. Okay, good to know. Um, yeah, so there used to be a storage room here. <laughs> We've been eating the tree. Uh, yeah, and then we have a few coins. I guess I should use these for something at some point, but I'm just kind of accumulating them. And we got our, our trees, our wood supply. Uh, all right, so what am I doing? What am I doing next? Um, all right, so we, we just established that we need the EBF. Wait, you can drain the creosote out of the ovens with TC drains? Yeah. No, I saw, uh, was it Shiny Bucket? Or Shiny Bucket was streaming, I forget I forget the chain of events, but I saw another streamer through Shiny Bucket the uh, that, that was doing that. Uh, they were using like the redstone clock to power it. Yeah, but I've automated it the old school way with a redstone clock. <laughs> so just vanilla redstone. So 
so this will power this one and that one. <laughs> You're making 24 LV fluid pumps. Uh, I mean, that works too, if you can do it. <laughs> but that was uh, not really, uh, I had hard enough time making one. <laughs> All right, working through that. I still do have uh, food in my lunch bags a little bit. I do need to, um, one of the things I was showing off earlier in the stream that uh, I was working on is the new farm setup over here by Spawn. Terrible thing is when you realize that the advanced Coke oven doesn't make creosote and it makes one charcoal per second. Yeah, the, you're talking about like the going beyond <laughs> the Coke oven that's up there. Yeah, I think probably the next step, because right now the issue I have is like this, this drawer fills up. What I need to do is I need to make another uh, a solid fueled boiler, at least for now, if I want to keep on using steam to power things. Uh, and then I can use the charcoal for that because I, I, this is making way, way too much charcoal. And then what happens is this runs out of creosote and gets cold. Um, <laughs> sometimes the vanilla is a lot cheaper. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, that was some things. So here's where we're at in terms of LV. So I got the uh, assembling machine. Optional task, refined glue cell. We can make that. To make good circuit boards, you need either glue or refined glue. Okay, we have a lot of sticky resin. We could centrifuge it. Um, I could do this. Yeah, I could do this like immediately. Mm. Okay, there we go. So how much, um, so refined glue cells. So that's a bucket. How much do we get? We get 50 liters. So we need uh, 200. Oh, no, no, okay, so it's 100 for that. Okay, so we just need uh, 10, 30. We need 30 sticky resin, which is why this said 30. Uh, yeah, of course, okay. Um. I think right now I still have methane in here. Do I care about this methane? No. Hold on. Put that there. Do I still? I should still have a pump. just to put the pump on there we go now what was the uh, what was the circuit any circuit don't do yeah it has a circuit okay but I guess that doesn't matter okay cool all right, we'll just void that, and then uh, I think I'll probably just put the tank in my uh, backpack. There we go. All right, so that will eventually get us some uh, some glue for the quest. I have a bunch of cells for that. Oh, I still had a PB and J. Okay, cool. Uh, so we'll we'll do that. Uh, what else? Empty, okay, so we can't do that without the glue. Also requires glue. EBF time. Uh, so what does the EBF take? Where is that? It's under multi black goals, right? Uh-huh. 11 heat proof machine casings. 
Okay, so we need invar plate for one. How, how does the math on this work out? I mean, that's gonna be an ingot, right? Because we can use the bender. The EBF is like the EBF only more. Oh, it's like the BBF, sorry, I read that. <laughs> I read that as the EBF is like the EBF. Okay, but yeah, it's 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 like the BBF, but more powerful. Uh, okay, so we can one for one that. So end of our ingots are made. Alloy smelter. Okay, so basically for three ingots, we need two iron and one nickel dust. So theoretically, I mean, the iron's not a concern. We can make th basically three stacks of Invar ingots right now. Although this says it's LV recipe. Does that mean we can't do it in the, uh, the steam alloy smelter? Uh, oh, EBF was fun. Notable materials for me were lubricant, nickel, and mica. So. I, I know that mica is like a big deal, but as it turns out, I I know where two veins are. So there's one right here, relative scale. I was able to invar in the steam. Okay, I just saw that it said LV. So I I'm now um, as I've been looking at recipes, I'm I'm more cognizant now where it'll say like MV. It's like okay, well I can't do that. Um, and then there's a micro one here, which you may be wondering, how can I know what the vein is if this is unexplored? Well, I lost all of my exploration when I moved this world to a server uh, back a couple weeks ago. So I've been re-exploring. Um, yeah, so that's a thing. So we need 11 of those. Those are um, six plates. So six ingots, so really two nickel. Two nickel per casing. So 22 nickel. And then this thing, which needs one more. So 24 nickel. And then we can do the rest of the stuff. Yeah, that's, that's no big deal. It's... Is it cheaper? No. Okay. And then potentially need the input and output bus and stuff. This will be, uh, I mean, not really our first multi-block thing because we have the other thing, the uh, bricked black blast furnace, but our first multi-block electrical machine. Cooper nickel wire. Can I even make that? Copper and nickel. Okay, yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. 16 of those blocks. Ah, here's where it comes in. Okay, Here, here's where we need the uh, the mica, right? For the mica insulator foil. So we, we need eight of those. What's this, molten tin, okay. Okay. So, we need eight of those for one of the, how many of these do we need? 16? Okay. So th that's two plates, which should be two or two sheets. Oh, which are, okay. It's one to one. And then we need a forming press. <laughs> we don't even have that. Okay, so this is not gonna happen today. But um, I am gonna sleep. One thing, um, like, okay. One thing we can we can start on making some invar. Let's do that. Um, how much should I say? Twenty four. I want to not go over because we do need the um, the nickel for the other stuff as well. So if we need 24 of this, we need 48 iron. Okay. So we'll make enough invar to make the uh, EBF, and then we'll have to sort out the mica situation. So let's see, can we actually do this in here? Yes. 
Um, we need a hopper underneath that. Because there's not going to be enough room. Because this will be more than a stack. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, how's our glue coming along? Almost done. Oops. There we go. Just got to do that. Uh, oh, I can pull the um, cover off. All right, and in the meantime, uh, what did we make? Because I had a bunch of materials up in a chest, hoppered into the uh, centrifuge before. So we have uh, yellow lime and eye dust. Got some raw rubber, some plant balls, some more nickel, okay. Sulfur, pyrite, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you do need 44 invar rods if you make the invar frame. Oh, right. I, I skipped that. Okay. Um, thank you for <laughs> mentioning that and actually doing probably a little bit of math for me as well. Uh, so Invar Rods. I don't think we're positioned where we can make those cheaper, right? So this is an MV thing with the extruder. So it's, it's one to one. So we need another 44 Invar. Um, which does not divide evenly by three. Uh, so 45 divided by three is 15. Uh, and so that would be 15 more, <laughs> 15 more nickel and 30 more iron. Did I do that math right? Let me go get some iron. Put some other stuff away here. So we get some sulfur. We got a little bit of sulfur. We got some. Um, uh, no, I decided I was gonna just go ahead and furnace all the yellow limonite dust. The raw rubber I'm storing here right now. There we go. And yeah, the rest. I'm saving the pyrite in the hope of eventually getting the sulfur out. All right, and the plant balls go over here. I decided at some point. All right, so we need 30 more iron. Oh, and we can put the pump away. And our um, glue should be done at this point. One thing I was thinking would be cool to do. So I, uh, I saw a trick. I think this was, maybe it was mentioned in the wiki. I, I don't remember exactly where, but I was like, it's it, it was really cool that I found that loot games dungeon right by spawn. I just kind of stumbled into it. I took a note of it and then I just like put it off for a while. And then a, a stream or two streams ago, we went and did it and we got some things that were kind of cool. Um, but it's like, well, how are you supposed to find those otherwise? But Somewhere it was pointed out you can use the ore finder wand and let's see you shift click you How do you do it? Shift right. Okay. Shift right click Nope How do you uh... Oh on the on the ground there we go Okay, if you put a dungeon wall on another block from a dungeon into the ore finder wand and you just walk around it will uh, it'll let you know if you're near, like if you walk over a dungeon, essentially. And so I did a little exploring to refill the map because I lost a lot of my explored area. And uh, I put waypoints, which you may have noticed as I've been like looking at places over yonder. I found two more loot game dungeons. So we might do that here uh, just to see what we can get. All right, this is done. There we go. Quest. Uh, back to LV. There it is. Hmm. 
I'm gonna take the loot bag. I think that's fun. So what do we get? Something for Steve's carts. Okay. That's that's nice and all, but I don't really care about that. All right. All right, we got we got Envar. I have to find a place for it. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I haven't uh, still haven't made an Orfinder one, but I might do, might for that, right? Yeah, it was. Uh, I mean, I've just been going through and doing the quest. Hey. Drifted just followed. <laughs> Drifted, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Um, I don't really have a good place for <laughs> Invar. I'll just put it there. Um, and then glue. I'll just leave there for now, and then I have a place where I'm putting all the Steve's cart stuff. Along with uh, Crop Harvester, which I have no idea how to use, but I got from a loot bag. Uh, farm Valve sounds familiar. I have done something with Forestry in another pack years ago, but I don't know. Don't know, don't know. Uh, okay, so. All right, so that should be, we should be making enough Invar I think what I'll do is I'll do some mining uh, <laughs> while I'm, you know, not streaming. I'm watching other people stream, you know, after work anyway. Uh, I'll probably go over to these mica veins and do some mining in one of them. Maybe I'll go over to this one just so I can re-explore this. But I'll go uh, mine out some mica, which we'll need. Hopefully we don't need more than what's in one vein. I'll do the math at some point um, for the EBF. And so that could be a thing for a future stream. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go up and put my coins away and then maybe we'll go over and do a loot game extension or two. See how long it takes. I hope they are the uh, Minesweeper ones. I know the other one is, well, I've read <laughs> that the other one is like a Simon Says, like a memory game and I feel like uh, I will have better luck with the uh, the Minesweeper one. All right, so we are not that far away. Do I need? I think I have everything set up so I can just walk in. So let's let's just go. Um. Yeah. In in retrospect, this should have been like a, a straight path <laughs> the whole way. Um, getting hung up on stuff and getting thrown off and not being able to follow the, the path is kind of annoying. Yeah, so this is our starting area. I think I spawned initially like right over there somewhere and then we found the little witch hut and then I <laughs> uh, wrecked it, <laughs> put, put stuff inside. For those that are new here and have not seen the <laughs> the early days at the farm over there, uh, the uh, loot games dungeon that I found that we did on stream a couple streams ago, I think, it's down there. And then we got a couple over this way. Got like seven sacks of mica from my vein I might. Okay, I, f I that is probably enough. Is that a massive? You think that's a massive farm? <laughs> it's only four chunks. Ish. And it's not even filled in yet. I still gotta go back. I'm not really, like, my thinking here is just to, like, have a row of one thing. You use 16 mica ore. <laughs> okay, well, you, okay. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, there was a quest for these, uh, flowers. Was it Steam Age? No, it couldn't have been, right? Oh, no, it is. Okay, and then seeds. There we go. A new source of glowstone. So do the do we process the seeds or the flowers? I guess the flowers. Ooh, we can get seed oil. Okay, of course we can get seed oil from that. From that. Okay, cool. Oh, it's night time. Get our uh, sleep in before mobs start spawning.
Yeah, I set this, I redid the farm, I should say, the other day, and I'm not really, uh, I'm not harvested. I think everything is ready for harvest at this point. Yep. But that that's more of a off-stream thing. But yeah, soon we'll have glowstone and potatoes <laughs> and, and uh, oh, the rice needs to be spread. And we got strawberries and pineapples and carrots and uh, what are we, grapes here, peanuts, bell peppers. Oh, these are not hardly grown at all. Why is that? Why is that like that? But these have all grown. Mm. Uh, sweet potatoes, coffee beans, celery, and uh, beans. Just a few things. Oh, I'm also gonna get rid of those. This is where the farm ends. There. All right. And some uh, pumpkins growing over here, maybe eventually. Got some cinnamon off the cinnamon tree. Got our reeds that I've not really needed that much of. Real close, just a hundred more meters. What kind of loot games dungeon is it? Oh yeah, this is where my horse fell in a hole and then I dug a way back up. Yeah, that's right. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Place some handy blocks. If the if the beacon wasn't enough. Uh, I should probably let that. A little bit more. Yeah, it's fine. There's water down there and stuff. Alright. So what's going to be? Oh, excellent. It's a minesweeper. Uh, so, oh, it's kind of trippy. <laughs> At least on my screen, it's fitting around in it. Okay. Okay. Um, how does this work again? Is it, is it? Left click to flag, right click to open. I forget. Okay, no, no, no. It's, it's right click to flag, left click to open. Yeah, so we know there's one there, so there can't be one there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, shift right click to flag. No, no, it's just right click. <laughs> See? Left click. There we go. Okay. I just needed to find one that I knew was safe <laughs> and then I could experiment on. So, yep. Uh, so two means there's one there, which means there can't be one there. Uh, <laughs> or there, or there, or there, or there. Or there. Mm do like um is it three of these in a row or do we i think there's like a total of four levels is that it i i actually read through the description of the of this after we did the the other day how it's supposed to work uh but now i can't remember 
Uh, let's see. Okay, so there's one there. So not there. Uh, there's one there. So not there or there. Each level is one bigger than the previous. Yes. Hey, System 101. How's it going? Now, we do want to open from the center. Something I did ask when we did this the uh, other stream is like, is it is it should it be safe no matter where we click the first one? But it still makes sense to like to start from the middle. See? <laughs> yep. Welcome in, also. Uh... <laughs> All right, all right. I do like a good game of, uh, of Minesweeper. That should be okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh, it has to be like that, which means this is empty. So is that. one there so there can't be one here uh, one two three four so all all of these yeah and that means this is covered by these three which we already knew from the one uh, and this can't, there can't be any others adjacent to this there we go I really want to get the uh, the max <laughs> reward on this. That'd be really nice. Uh, well, these have to be here, so there can't be anything there. There we go. Nothing there or there. So there and not there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So not there or there. Uh, if there's a fully solved tile, you can shift right click to reveal the remaining ones. There's a fully solved tile. You can shift right click it to reveal the remaining ones. Huh. I'm not sure what you mean. If there's a fully solved tile. What are we missing here? Hooray! Uh, it should keep track of the uh, the time, the in-game time. Uh, we'll make sure to sleep when it is time to sleep. There we go. Mm-hmm. Checks out. So there. Uh, so there has to be one there as well, right? And that means that there's nothing there, or there, or there, or there. Okay. A little bit of lag. Yes. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. And then two covers that. And that. There we go. Yep. 
Yep. There we go. Three. There, and so not there. Okay, nothing there either. Nothing there. So that has to be there, which means there can't be anything there or there. Uh, so that. Oh, it is nighttime. Okay, good. Hmm. Maybe we'll be able to finish this before uh, the uh, normal stream end time. Oh, I get some speed from my uh, sleep. Okay. Uh, all right, so nothing there. Checks out or there, which means there has to be a mine there. So there can't be any adjacent to that too which means there has to be a mine here for that to be a three. Uh, what does that tell us? Oh, there has to be a mine there for this to be a three. There has to be a mine here. Okay. Let's, let's look over here, so. So there could be a mine here or here, right? But if there was a mine here, for this to be a three, there would have to be a mine here. Can we eliminate that possibility? Or am I missing something else that would be relevant? There has to be a mine here or here. So there could be. And then also a mine here. Except if there was, this would be a three. So there has to be a mine in either of these two spots for this to be a three. But there also has to be a mine in either of these two spots for this to be a three? If there were a mine here, just trying to see if I can logic my way out of a, <laughs> into a solution for this. Can there be a mine here? If there was a mine here, then this two would have to be a three. So there can't be a mine here. Right? If there was a mine there, this would be two already, but there has to be a mine. Yeah, I was right. <laughs> Thank you for the reassurance though, System 0101. All right, so there has to be a mine there. Because those are, those are the, the three adjacent to that, and we have three adjacent to this, so there can't be a mine there. So there is a mine there. So not there or there, or there, or there. All right. Logic. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay, there's not one there. Has to be one there. So not there or there. And now we have a three, so there can't be one there. Or there. 
So there has to be a mine there, as we thought. One, two, three, four. There we go. So there can't be one here, or there, or there, or there, or there. There we go. Um. Oh, there you go. That makes three, and there. So that just leaves us with the little corner. So we know for the th three, there has to be a mine in one of these two spots. This two means there needs to be a mine in one of these two spots. Mm. So we know there's a mine here. The two here means there's a mine in one of these two spots. If there was a mine here, what does that imply? Well, if there was a mine here and a mine here, then, no, that would still be a two. No, but this would be a three. So there can't be two mines here. If, given that, then there has to be a mine here and here. What are the other possibilities? There could be a mine here and a mine here, right? No because that would be a three. So there can't be two mines here. There can't be a mine here or a mine here. There could be a mine here. <laughs> you love, hey, Death Row, welcome in. It's perfect, that's what we're doing. <laughs> it's it's Minesweeper inside of Minecraft. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see, Train of Thought, where is it? Let me find it. Uh, <laughs> mine here means there can't be one here. Uh, I legit <laughs> play it when I'm bored sometimes. I've not played Minesweeper outside of recent streams doing this in quite a while, but it's a, uh, you know, it's a logic puzzle, right? Uh, when you, at least when you get into like ambiguous situations like this, right? Um... Minecraft Sweeper, yes. All right. Uh, do we know how many mines are left? I think that says two in the, the corner, right? There's two mines left. Can we, can we intuit something from that? Right, so there has to be a mine. I guess best case? I mean, if there are two mines, they both have to be in this row, right? Because one needs to be here or here, and one needs to be here or here for this to all work out. So there can't be any mines here. <laughs> right? Because if there was a mine here, but there's only two mines left, then... Okay, so I'm gonna open this corner. <laughs> uh, yep. Okay, interesting. Um, but there still can't be a mine here. Hello, is this thing on? Hey, Nemi. Welcome in. How are you doing? Uh, okay. I'm pretty sure that I'm right, though, that... There has to be a mine there and a mine, like, in this row, right? And probably it's here and here. No, no, that can't be true. It's here and here. Could that be true? I think that could be true. That it's here and here. <laughs> I 
All right, one more to go. Hold on, let me uh, tell Switch to uh, calm down. <laughs> one more to go, and if we do it, we're gonna get a uh, top tier reward. All right, there's the exit if things go wrong. <laughs> okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Five. Ooh, fancy. One, two, three, four. Okay. We'll work on that a little bit. Uh, oh, I guess it has to be there, right? One, two, three, four, five. So nothing there? Yes. Hey, you caught it. Two bubbles. Uh, and nothing here either. Except a four. All right, and this one is a flag, so that's three of four. But there's nothing here or here. There we go. Ah, all right. Go. Little lag. There we go. All right, so one, two, three, and four. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There we go. Yeah. No. <laughs> Pokemon number four, yes, indeed. All right. Uh, yeah, two. Okay. Uh, let's, let's work from over here. Yep. 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 Uh, oh yeah. One, two, three. There we go. And one, two, three. Okay. Uh, chase into that. Two. So all of those are empty. Good. That's also empty. And that is one as well. And then, oh yeah, that one should be empty. There we go. All right. And clear out to there. All right. So there. Checks out. Okay, so nothing there. And a four. All right. Um, can I try to sleep? <laughs> Where's the exit? Hard to see right there. Uh, I don't want to let a bunch of mobs spawn out in the world. Oh boy. Uh, oh. Always fun when you sleep and you wake up inside of a wall. This one's clear, and so that should be there, and then there, and that's four, so that should be clear, and that's three. Good. Mm. Uh, that's four, so that should be good, and that's three and two. So we got this corner done. <laughs> uh, all right. So 
It feels kind of awkward with the, the wall, you know, up against the wall looking down to me right now. Uh, okay, so yeah, so that should be clear. Yep, and that, and that, yep. There we go. Oh, yep. Checks out. And there. Yep. Huh. I'll come back to that. Three. Yep. And then two. And so nothing there. And then that should be clear. And there's four there. It's good. Hmm. Oh. We'll snooze that a little bit more. All right, there we go. Okay. A little trickier. Just like looking for a good place to uh, to start here. So this has four things that are adjacent to it, so one of these is empty. Hmm. Easier going over here. <laughs> well, we know here that one of the three here, and only one of the three, has a mine. Can there be a mine here? I think so. Can there be a mine here? If there was a mine there, there couldn't be a mine here or here. There could still be a mine there and there. Hmm. Okay, what about over here? We're over here. This looks kind of familiar to the uh, setting we were in before, right? Um, so there's a mine here. Could there be a mine in one of these two? Well, there, there's a mine in one of these two spots, but only one of these two. Yeah, this is fine, Foxy. We'll, we'll do it. We're going to get there. Um, but there has to be two mines out of these three blocks here. Right? So could there be a mine here and here? Um, hmm. If there was a mine here and here, that would satisfy this. But there would have to be... No, that's not... It's not constrained enough to know for sure. I might just have to take a stab at it. <laughs> This corner is interesting. Ah. I get another try. This is me when I'm at this point. Yeah. There might have been somewhere in there where I could have, like, you know, worked it out, but nah, it's fine. We'll, we'll just try again. We got, we get another shot. All right, maybe this one will be easier. <laughs> Fortunately, we also have lots of hearts and toughness and stuff from uh, eating well, eating well. Uh, all right, so yeah, like that. Hmm. 
There we go. And if nothing else, I think we've done enough that even if we should fail, we will still get a pretty good reward out of the situation. Uh, but still, we'll, we'll give it a good shot. Um, yeah, come back to that. Okay, there we go, there we go. Um... So that should be good. That should be good. Basically all of yep, there you go. And there and there. Yep, 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 yep. There we go. Hmm. Thought it was, uh, I guess that didn't register. I felt like that was gonna be a misclick. I guess, I think putting the flags on them prevents you from accidentally opening them. Uh, <laughs> because I'm pretty sure otherwise that would have been kablooey. Uh, there we go, all five. And then that. Looks great. And that one. And that one, that's three, so that one's clear. Alright. I feel like this is this one has gone quite a bit better. Hmm, yeah, still gotta sort that out, but deal with that. Uh oh yeah, that's definitely there, so that's free. That one and that one. One, two, three, and that's two, so these can't have anything in them. That has one, so that doesn't have anything. And then that has to have three, and that has three, so it can't be anything there, or there, or there, or there, or there. Checks out. What? How did I screw that up? I was sure that was right. Oh. Best three out of five. <laughs> Obviously, was mistaken.
You got it. You're racking up those Pokemon. Uh, Alright, so nothing there. Something there. Nothing adjacent to those ones. Or there. Uh, so that. That makes three. So nothing there. Excellent. So, we're going to give this one last shot. I think at some point in this, Twitch is going to probably just run an ad on me. But uh, what we'll do is we'll stick around through the ad, uh, come what may, and then uh, we'll figure out who we're going to raid tonight. We'll go a little long, but uh, we'll figure out who our raid target is going to be. Hmm, excuse me. I, uh, I usually stream on Mondays, uh, Wednesdays, and Fridays from uh, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Pacific time, and then on Sunday mornings from uh, 8.30 to uh, 11.30 in the morning, again, Pacific time. Um, so I, I I am a variety streamer, apparently. So my, modded Minecraft, Great Titan Horizons on Mondays, and then uh, I'm doing uh, currently Power World multiplayer with subs on Wednesdays. And then uh, Friday, what we do, is people put suggestions in the community discord for uh, nominations let's say that will go onto a poll at the beginning of friday friday stream uh and uh vote uh first vote is free additional votes cost channel points vote as many times as you want and then uh whoever whatever wins is what i will play on friday um there is a list of games in the gaming channel on the discord so those are all the games I have. You can only pick from those things. You can't make me buy games. Uh, or we can do like a coding stream. Suggestions for what that could be. Uh, like last time was suggested like leak code problems, those sorts of things. Yeah, so we'll do that. Um, and then the Sunday morning stream is always my, uh, it's my normal coding stream. I've been working on a project for a couple months now uh, to do with streaming itself, like stream video, management stuff but it was something else before it might be something else later you know we're going through things we recently started working on a um a uh a twitch bot as part of that software that uh is written in elixir Pre previously we're doing stuff in rust before that we're doing stuff in um typescript it's a whole mix all right so i'm gonna keep on playing this game uh if you get an ad sorry about that well, uh, I'll stick around, and then uh, we need to figure out who are we going to raid next. Maybe someone, someone playing uh, Great Technical Horizons. Maybe Foxy has ideas, or someone else. I think there is a, a channel point re redeem to direct the raid, so that's also an option. Uh, I should probably pay attention to what I'm doing here, though. Right there, and right there. <laughs> and then all those should be good. And then, yeah, what else? What else? Well, there's only three spots adjacent to that, and only two already occupied adjacent to that. And then there has to be a flag there. Yep. Very unusually, not going to take a break for this at, since it's kind of at the end of the string. Let's just keep on playing. Uh, okay, so yeah, that should be good, right? And then, 
nothing there or adjacent to these twos, right? Because we're <laughs> frosty tools describing what's going on. Yeah. Okay, so there and then that. So nothing here or there, right? Okay. Uh, oh, so that has to be there. Yeah, because there's a four and a three. So there can't be anything there or there. And a two. Uh, so if there's a three there, this one has to be it. And so that's also three for that. There we go. There we go. Can't be anything there either. All right. Clear out of space. That's good. Uh, obviously, there has to be something there. It can't be anything there or there or there. Uh, gonna charge your cell. Had a blast hanging out. Hey, I appreciate you hanging out with us. Um, you, uh, you gotta go get your phone charged before it dies fully. Understand that. Thanks so much. Uh, we'll be wrapping up the stream here probably in a few minutes. Uh, we got that whole area to see if we can clear. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, that's three. Okay, good. All right, so there and there. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Uh, oh, here we go, four. That's also four adjacent to that, there we go. And three, so there can't be anything in any of these spots. We're there, all right, progress. I'll uh, catch you later, Nate. Hopefully, future stream. All right, good, good, good. Good. So, like 20 something, I can't read the uh, the number in the far left corner because it's behind, it's like 20 something. It could be an eight, could be a three, I don't know. Uh, nothing there, has to be something there, has to be something there, can't be anything there. Um, ambiguous? <laughs> What about over here? Oh, well, there's this one there. There we go. Can't be there or there. Has to be there. Uh, there's only three adjacent here. So it has to be like that. Four has to be there. So there can't be anything there. Uh, there we go. Three. So nothing there or there or there. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hmm. What else can we figure out? Oh, there we go. Looks like we're back from the ad. Sorry for that if you got an ad, but uh, that's that's how Twitch works these days. All right, we're still sweeping for mines. Okay. Two. Okay, there we go. And three. So there can't be anything there. That three means there can't be anything there. Hey, a one. Excellent. Can't be anything there or there. This three means there has to be a mine there. That doesn't really help me narrow for this one because we could have mines sitting right here. Um. Let's start back over here, maybe. Hmm, four here. I don't know. <laughs> we got, what, 12 mines left? I think that's what that says. What do we think over here? Got... There was a mine here that would satisfy those numbers. But then there couldn't be a mine here. There also couldn't be a mine here. Uh, that doesn't really tell us anything. For the three, there's like four places that mine could be. For the four, we need two more mines in three spots. I don't know. That's that's. Yeah, this is honestly easier, right? Because there's only... We can have a mine in one of these two spots. There's a mine here. Does that tell us anything? Besides the fact that there's not a mine there? I don't think so. I think there could...
could not be a mine there. Can there be a mine here? Maybe. Don't know enough. So this three, there could be a mine in any of these three spots. Is there anything we can infer? Or deduce? Really? <laughs> yes, there is some logic here. Um, well. So that if it's three, there's already two mines here, right? So there can only be one mine in all three spots here. Unfortunately, uh, what other constraints do we have? Not a lot, just the one there. But that... Doesn't really tell us anything. Yeah. But... There could be a mine here, and that would satisfy that. There could be a mine here. Um, there could be... that That's pretty much it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There, there has to be a mine in one and only one of these three spots. Right? If there... If there's a mine... If there's a mine here, then this can't be a one. <laughs> All right. Did that actually help us, though? <laughs> now, what is the probability that one of these <laughs> has the mine? Hmm. Uh, so there's a mine in one of these two spots. I don't think I don't think that helps us. What about, what about over here? No, the one doesn't really constrain it. Like it did when there were three slots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's still 12 mines. Or maybe it was 13 before. I can't read those numbers. Am I missing something here? I guess that three one is helpful. Yeah, maybe. Um, yes, right. So there has to be a mine here and here, but if there's a mine here or here, there cannot be a mine otherwise adjacent to the one, right? There has to be a mine here or here, otherwise this would not be a three. There's nowhere else for it to be. It can't be more than one mine so there has to be a mine here or here. So there can't be a mine here. There can't be a mine here either. Right? Because then this would be a two. Now there has to be a mine here, but that, that means there can't be a mine there. All right. Progress of a sort. We know there's a mine here or here, so there can't be a mine there. And we know there's five mines here. Which means this is free. And that's free. Uh, and so is that. All right. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's four adjacent to the four. So that is good. And that means that has to be like this, which means, there we go, there we go. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, there we go. Very close. Very close. Uh, well, yeah, obviously that's there. Uh, okay. So... There could be a mine here, 
and so there wouldn't be a mine here or here. Is that possible for neither of these to have a mine? That yeah, there could there could be a mine there. That would satisfy that three. Oh, but this this three wouldn't be satisfied if there was a mine here and a mine here. So it can't be that combination. It could be a different combination. Could there be a mine here and a mine there? If there was a mine here, that would be three, that would be three. So there could be a mine here and here. Could there be a mine here and here? No, because then that would be a four. Can we, can we just iterate over all possible solutions? <laughs> Hold on. Let's take a nap. Things are better if you just sleep on them, right? Just, just give a little time. Then we wake up inside of a wall. All right. Doesn't it have to be the top and bottom? I Maybe? With the middle, not a mine? I think maybe it can't be the middle two. In fact, it can't be these two either. It can't be these two. Nope. The structure is pleased and rewards you. So we got three out of four. So one of the middle ones was a mind. I guess it was one of the other combinations. We could have probably like stepped through all the different, um, there were two mines in four places. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so we got an impregnated frame. We gotta do bees at some point. We gotta do bees at some point. Uh, yeah, no, it's good. We got a small sodium battery. This one's empty. Last time around we got a full 50 EU, 50,000 EU, um, small city battery so we got another one we got a drain module cover um absorbs fluid and collects rain so this is like you can put this on a machine and if it rains you can put water into the machine in a way that won't make it explode uh the wiki said this is useless but maybe it could be used for something another impregnated frame farm controls to go with the farm whatever we got from the loot bag before uh we got Fences from Open Modular Turrets. I don't know anything about that mod. We got gold tanks. Nice. Up to 48 tanks. But we got three of them. And we got four farm hatches. Some more forestry stuff. It's all good stuff. And honestly, I'm going to take the uh, the chest too. Mm. All right. We got a composite vest. probably something hard to make right okay it's like advanced alloy uh it's it's involved advanced alloys is oh mixed metal yeah the mini games are pretty awesome uh iron bronze and tin okay not a positive we got five neapolitan ice creams we, we've eaten that before but still good some flint and steel three upgrade templates it's handy it's annoying to make the pistons got <laughs> 19 silver plates that is um well i mean now that we can go to the twilight forest i, I guess we can get we could get silver hey look six pistons we got a compass we got a gold uh sorry a diamond chest 108 slots we got nine red alloy ingot two iron uh tank valves it's pretty good handy for making another tank and then Two more tanks, just normal ones. Three oak drawers, two furnace mine carts, two redstone repeaters, two more redstone repeaters, two one by two oak drawers, six tin casings and six gold casings. And we could have had more <laughs> if we would have uh, beaten the last one, but it's all right. It's all right. Let's steal one of those to make a way out of here. All right, uh, let me get rid of the waypoint here. We won't need to come back to this loot games. 26 meters, remove. All right, and there's another one that I found, uh, and, and they're pretty easy to find, right? You just, uh, they're not far apart. 
as long as you have the ore finder one with the block in it you just walk around like i was just walking around there's one here and just you know a few hundred blocks away there's another one i bet i could just stumble across a few exploring all right so i'm gonna walk back to the base uh have we any thoughts about a raid target if not uh once i'm in a good spot i will uh log out and check my twitch see who i'm following oh right we have food we can eat a little bit of oh never mind not hungry all right it's a ton of stuff <laughs> i think well worth the time even for like just the silver since uh i mean we all we only had like small or silver that i've kind of left unprocessed but we'll be able to do some stuff with that um, not to mention the casings we'll probably find a use for. Oh. Oh, it's just a normal skeleton, right? Yay! <laughs> All right. So yeah, uh, it looks like maybe someone joined the Discord. I don't have the general channel open right now, but if you uh, drop suggestions slash nominations for uh, Friday's stream, that'll go into the uh, the poll. And that could be yeah, like normally scheduled stuff as well. So like, if you wanna see more My Sweet Minds tomorrow, nice. If you wanna see more Great Tech New Horizons on stream, just suggest that in the Discord, and we can that can be included in the poll. Um, just be warned that uh, longtime subs, Brainless Society. <laughs> well, I think he'll be against Minecraft in general, and will aggressively vote against you with his channel points. And uh, probably Foxy Blue will also have opinions as well about what I should stream, uh, such as maybe Crusader Kings or something else. So we'll see what happens. All right. Um, I'm gonna leave myself a mess for later. <laughs> Just leave all this stuff in my inventory. Look, look at all this stuff. We got a full inventory of loot. All right. 